Uh, hey James, this is going to be a response to your latest video about schizophrenia and not not religion. Um, I, this I not I don't actually disagree with anything you said. This is more of my two cents into the topic, and I will admit that I've not watched all the videos about this discussion, but. I don't think I have to for this topic. Um, in this video, you rightly point out that it's not really about religion, but it is about the mental um, health of, of the individual, and I completely agree with you there. The, the thing that I agree with you the most is that it's not, it would not make a difference whether or not a person was religious regarding their mental health. Now, in order to make this video make sense, I need to tell a little anecdote. I took a break from making videos around Lent. That was around February 22nd. I didn't make videos for an entire month. So, yeah. In the time I was gone, I suffered a lot of panic attacks. And I had to go, and I had, I suffered from suicide, suicidal thoughts a lot. I've had, and I was this, I'm tracing back, I was diagnosed officially back in January of this year of clinical depression. Now, I I knew I'd suffered from depression for a long time, but I was officially diagnosed with it in January. And the doc and the psychologist put me it, it recommend I take antidepressants, but I didn't do it, and I regret not taking it sooner. As you probably already know, clinical depression is not fun. It's like this on and off switch that goes on and off in your head randomly when you least expect it. In one moment, you'll be you'll be all happy and giggly, be with your friends and all that, but then like this. You'll be sad, depressed, with this strong urge to die. And that's what I suffer from. And I've, and I, and I've always hit it from a lot of people. I've done a really good job, until recently, of hiding this. You know, it's not about, like, back, like, three or four weeks ago, I had days, an entire weekend, for example, where I literally just, my whole body just shut down. And I just had the urge to die. Where I literally had thoughts of wanting to kill myself. Not because of anything that was going on. Well, well, some things that were going on, but mostly because of, of a chemical imbalance in here in the brain. And it's very hard to deal with. I have to take, you know, like this this bottle's empty, but I have more in my bag. But this, like, is pack a bottle of Zoloft, like a pack of antidepressants. I have to take that in order to control my moods. And now the reason why I'm even bringing all this up is because of it's related to. Um, the topic that was being discussed is whether or not someone's religious beliefs it real is can be differentiated from someone who's mentally ill. You know, and now if you know me, I am a Roman Catholic. And I am a devout Roman Catholic. Now, whether or not you agree with those beliefs, that's totally not the point. The point is that even as a Roman Catholic, as a Christian, I still suffer a mental illness, clinical depression, just like any other person. Like, clinical depression itself is not dependent on one's religious beliefs or one's political beliefs or whatever belief they have, but dependent on their mental state. And I believe you already know this. Is one of the reasons why I never bought the argument that 
religion is caused by a mental disorder. And I believe that's absolute bullshit. Complete utter bullshit, in my opinion. The reason why being is that... I, I agree that in certain cases, in certain extreme cases, one's religious beliefs can lead him to do terrible things. But I don't think it's the case that because one's ha one has a religious one has a follows a particular religion, I don't it doesn't necessarily follow that therefore they're gonna cause this. I consider that a slippery slope argument. It doesn't follow. You know. Just because one is religious, it does not follow that one is mentally ill. Or that religion can't be differentiated from a mental illness. And the reason why I bring this up is because one of these fears I've always had was talking about the clinical depression that I had or the fact that I've, I've had to have special treatment for it. And the one of the reasons I don't talk about it on YouTube because you'll get idiots who do not understand this and say that because of this trait or or because you have this trait or you have this belief or whatever, you name it, you name the entire list, that therefore means that you are therefore there's something wrong with you. And I and I don't think that's the case at all, and I think you would agree with me there. I, I, I'm rambling, I apologize. It's just that to cut this cut to the chase. In terms of the difference between someone who is mentally ill versus someone who is religious, I think we have to remember that it's a very broad they're both very broad categories. And that one who is religious does not necessarily mean that there will be mentally ill. Because you have to define what you mean by one's religious belief before you can properly define them as mentally ill. Now, now so this is all debatable, obviously. But again, even you even you even if you were to use these broad categories of what is a religious belief and what mental illness you're talking about, it's still a full it's still flawed to even conflate the two. Because you're talking about so many different factors, whether it be political, sociological, or even biological. And for me, also, while while there is some fact, while there is some social factors in my clinical depression, it's a lot of it's biological too. You know, and this is one of the reasons why I have to take antidepressants in order to fight off thoughts of suicide. You know, it's very difficult. And I always, it always angers me whenever someone conflates one's religious beliefs with a mental illness careless, carelessly without actually doing a full-fledged analysis of the entire situation. Because to me, just to automatically brush something off as being a mental illness simply because one has a specific religious belief is really just ridiculous. Anyway, I've been feeling better now, but still, it's going to take a long, it's going to take me a while to take better control, take better control of this, these, this, this clinical illness I have in my head, because not a lot of people understand what it means to be clinically depressed until they've experienced it. Unless someone has actually had, unless someone actually has clinical depression, whether or not they 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 shouldn't have the say as to whether or not one's religious beliefs has anything to do with how they feel. Sorry, I kind of rambled there, but but to elaborate more, again, as I stated earlier, just because someone has a religious belief. It does not follow that that person in and of themselves is mentally ill. Because if that was the case, then someone like me, my Catholicism would have led to being clinically depressed when 
I've been clinically depressed even before I became Roman Catholic. And clinical depression is not limited to someone who is religious. It can apply to anybody, regardless of their beliefs. Anyway, sorry for rambling, but thank you for watching.